Hey, what's going on, you guys? We've got to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. And this is technically like a review for like a, a two two movies to be exact. It's a, the Roman Kinsha live action films. Uh, I didn't watch the first one because for some reason I couldn't find it with subtitles. Okay, so eh, just that's what happened. But I pretty much knew what happened. I, I, I watched some of it and just like, okay. Got like the highlights. It, it pretty much basically follows like the story of Ron Kenshin. You know, it's an anime, popular anime, manga, especially real popular back in the 90s when I was growing up. It's like one of those 90s shows that I grew up watching, probably that got me into anime, along with Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, all that good jazz. You know what I'm saying? All those, uh, Inuyasha, all of those. You know what I'm saying? So, I've always been a fan of it, but I go back and revisit it, you know what I'm saying, from time to time. I always go back and revisit like my favorite, uh, anime. Uh, childhood animes, you know what I'm saying, I grew up with each year, you know what I'm saying, in, in some capacity. But I wanted to watch, like, the live action, because I've been like, on, on, like, the live action anime spree lately. And I watched uh, the second one fully and the third one fully. The second one is called, I think it's Kyoto Inferno, and the third one is called Ron and Kitchen, The Legend Ends. The second one is definitely be the best one, I gotta say, uh, because the third one... Third one is kind of, oh, this is going to be kind of controversial, but the third one is kind of like Empire Strike Back because it was kind of boring to me at times. Hey, don't get me wrong, it kind of like, like it legitimately felt like Empire Strike Back uh, it, only with the conclusion, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I can different ending as well. I think, first of all, I think the guy who plays Kenshin, uh, Takara Sato, I think that's how you pronounce his name, does a fantastic job as Kenshin Humor. Okay, there was... I think everybody as their characters does a fantastic job except for one person. And that one person is Sonosuke. I hated Sano so much to the point I wish he died in the second one, okay? I hated him so much. Like, as soon as I saw him, like, every time I saw him, I just did not fool with the guy. I just wanted him, like, get rid of him, okay? Please. Get rid of him because he is terrible. Like, he is just a buffoon. He is, like, he didn't invite his Sano, the Sano that I know from the anime and manga. You know what I'm saying? Sano was a cool dude. Everybody wanted to be like Sano. You know Sano just beat people up. You know, and he didn't have to be like, he, was, he wasn't all loud. And, like, you know what I'm saying? He was just a cool ass guy. This guy was not cool at all. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? No offense to the actor who played him. Like, he just wasn't cool at all, people. Okay? Just wasn't. I, I, I didn't like him. I, I, I just did not. Uh, he was dope. Well, he wasn't dope. <laughs> but, like, everything else was cool. And I think it, it followed, basically, uh, the Ronnie Kenshin saga up until, like, the Kyoto, or the, uh, the Kyoto arc with Shishio, which is everybody. I think anybody who's a fan of Ronnie Kenshin knows, like, that's the best arc. And I told people after that arc, Anybody I refer Ron Kitchen to, I told him, like, after that arc, just stop watching, because um, it, it becomes, eh, to be honest, baby, it gets pretty bad after that, okay? So, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I definitely told him uh, to, like, stop after that. But, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy, like, the, oh, my God, the freaking fight scenes are Amazing, I don't the, like the, the swordsmanship and like I don't know maybe these people are actually so over there just like hey you guys actually go out there and just fight just try to make sure you don't actually cut each other and like we just shoot that because like they they I don't know how you choreograph this stuff if if this is all choreographed <laughs> if I ever do a movie with swords and fighting uh, scenes with swords I have to absolutely have to have them in there. Have to, you know, they have to have them like shoot the, the fight choreography because I thought that was excellent. Uh, Shishio, I, I guess I, I have to talk about Shishio. I rock with Shishio so hard, dog. Like, Shishio is one of my favorite anime villains of all time because, like, he kind of had like a reason. Like, the people turned on him, like, hey, bro, I kind of want revenge. My revenge, so y'all turn on me, stab me, burn me. Like, hey, I'm kind of, and like, I liked it. It, I liked him so much to the point where I was kind of like, I know how it ends, but I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of want Kenshin to lose a little bit, you know? Uh, I got, like I said, I, I enjoyed the, this is like, as far as this and Bleach are like my two favorite live action animes. 
I think I might give her one kissing an edge slightly because maybe Bleach might, you know what I'm saying, take the lead again once uh, Bleach 2 comes out because I'm hoping that gets a sequel as well because I, mean, I want to see them in the Soul Society because the first movie was, like I said, I love the first movie. And like, this one is like, I, I like the way it ends, like, but that third movie did kind of get slow. And like, it kind of like, it drug on. I'm like, eh, this could have been like an hour, 30 minutes. It was like 2.15. I'm like, yeah, you could have chopped off 45 minutes of it because some of this stuff we don't care about at all. We kind of know where we're going. Can we get there? You know, and some stuff was just cap. All right. I just got to be real. Some stuff with cap. She show out here fighting four people. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, come on, man. Yeah, I'm going to stay there and keep putting my boy at a disadvantage. He's still whooping people with this famous sword, which is hard. Okay? It's hard. So, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I thought it was great. I, I, I really thought it was great. But, like, other, other than Sano and, like, the, the parts of, like, uh, the third one where it was just boring and shit, I really, really enjoyed this. I enjoyed seeing Batosa, the man slayer. They call him Batosa the slasher. I'm like, ah, Batosa, the man slayer, okay? Uh, I enjoyed seeing that. But uh, you guys, just definitely check it out. If you're an anime fan and you hate live action animes, think this will be one that like really like brings you around. Like, every, only thing I, I will ever have to say about these uh, anime adaptations, uh, that like a down in Japan is that they make sure that the character is just like he is, like in the manga, okay. except for Sano. Sano, I don't know what the hell they thought Sano was. They thought they must thought Sano was like Usa. You know what I'm saying? They they put him in the wrong show. Okay, I don't know what or, or not even Usa. Who he was? Kuwabara. That's who he reminded me. And I love Kuwabara when he's in Yu Yu Hakusho. But that's who they made Sano look like. Cool bar. Terrible, okay? Terrible. But uh, everybody else, I think they did a good job. But like sometimes the character be too much like the anime character. It's like they don't have any other personalities. You know what I'm saying? But eh, it just tends to wave. It, it depends on how, how close of an uh, adaptation you really want. Uh, if that'll bother you or not. But yeah, definitely check it out if you're a fan of anime. And you don't like other uh, live action anime anime adaptation i think this one uh really bring your mind hit that like button subscribe to my channel comment down below some comments and i'll catch up with you guys later peace